Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer, guys, comes from Cellar West. The owner of the brewery contacted me and said, I want to send you something. I gave him the address and he sent me a, a, a beer mail package, guys. This is the second one. So, the owner slash brewer, I guess he's the brewer. I'm sure he is since he, he started this uh, uh, probably at his house home brewing. Uh, so, Cellar West, guys, if you can get your hands on their beers, check them out. Yesterday's beer, the only fuss I had about it, the pale ale, was it didn't have a date. Uh, I forgot to mention, uh, I did look on the other can. He sent me two of, of that beer, and neither one of them had anything on them. So, the other ones I looked at, uh, and it they don't have a dating machine, but they've got like a, a little price sticker uh, stuck to the bottom of the can and this one says 011323 so there's the can on day and I don't know if they have a machine that's sticking those on there but I think with the stickiness of something like that could easily you know not adhere well being hot or cold and falling off I, I, I don't know but they made the attempt I want to clarify that guys I don't know why the uh, the pails didn't have it on it, and uh, the other uh, the other four cans. So we had two with dates on them that were the same kind, and the other four uh, have stickers on the bottom of them. So intriguing why those didn't have it. So they got by evidently or whatever. This one is the single hop saison emerald spire. And it's a saison with 100% emerald spire hops. It's a single hop saison. Imagine that. What's it called? A single hop saison. Imagine that. All right, guys. Uh, this is a seven percenter, so it's into my go-to category at seven percent. So uh, that's where I, my beers that I spend my money on start at. If it's seven percent, yep, I'll, I'll. That's on my list. I'll buy, I'll buy that, I'll try that, I'll buy that again if it's worthy. So, that's how it works for this guy. Anyway, so, uh, not listed over on Beer Advocate again, uh, and it is listed over on uh, Untapped, but only six people have posted anything on it. So, pretty sh tight, small uh, group of people commenting on these beers uh, on Untapped from, that, from this brewery. So, I don't know if they're that new. This one, was, like I said, was done in uh, January 13th. So uh, here we are at the uh, almost the end of February. Uh, so it's over a month old. So uh, like six weeks old, something like that. Uh, you would think they would have more than that. So either a very, very small brewery or a very small group of people or distribution that's buying them and uploading reviews about it. So, maybe we can help that out. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, single hop Saison, guys. I don't buy a lot of Saisons. I do like them. I do enjoy them. Probably not a style that I'd want to drink every day. Uh, but, again, if that's how I can get my hands on, it would probably work. So, uh, nice label here. You've got hops looking at it and they got a crazy guy with the hat on so let's find out the emerald spire single hop saison is all about and these sometimes can be very carbonated so i don't want to get too aggressive on the pour i don't want four fingers of head on this and i'll stop right there we've already got a finger of head right there but i want to get all the goodies that's on the bottom that's what you want that's uh, anything that has settled to the bottom you want to get that swelled up and get it in the beer oh 
All right. Not quite two fingers of head, about a finger and a half right there, guys. I mean, that looks like a New England style IPA, as cloudy as that puppy is. Yeah, that's a real good looking beer. I mean, if I was looking at that beer, I would say that's a New England style IPA. Uh, very unique color there. I don't know if I've uh, seen one quite that cloudy and orange juice looking. Mm hmm. Let's find out. See how much funkiness it's gotten. And uh, I never brewed one because I, people have told me horror stories about using Bretomyces and other yeast. That once it gets in your buckets and stuff, you can't get it out. You can't. It has to be dedicated equipment, and I just never did it because. I had limited resources at the time and I didn't want to have to buy all new equipment just to brew this type of beer. So, to the nose. Yep, got that farmhouse funky Saison yeast. Smells awesome, guys. Very nice. I get, I get a little bit of pepper. Oh man, it's the funkiness. Wow, that's awesome. Cheers. Zach, appreciate it. Hmm. Awesome smell. Mm, mm, mm. That's nice. That's probably the tastiest Saison I've had in quite a while. Definitely the best Saison I've had in 2023, no doubt about it. Mmm, that's very tasty. A little bit of peppery, we've got a nice citrusy malt base. We'll get into it a little bit more when I come back on the final chug. As it warms up room temperature, I might get a few more notes and taste in there. So let's go sip on it. Alright guys, I'm back. A uh, little bit of lacing that's popped on the glass. Super tasty Saison. Looks a lot like a New England style beer, guys. Uh, very, very tasty. Not the other half's favorite style. She didn't care for it too much. I enjoy this, guys. And these styles are a lot like sours and, and and a lot of other styles that could be an acquired taste I mean uh, if you're not used to drinking a Saison or a farmhouse ale uh, it, it it can be challenging uh, but I do enjoy this like I said not something I'd want to drink every day but it's a nice change up and I haven't had one in quite a while so and this one is done very well so A little bit of sediment down there in the bottom of that. Make sure you get that swirled up before you do the final chug. Citrusy, like a nice farmhouse, barnyard funk. A little peppery. Tasty, guys. I mean, that's basically what you're after in this style of beer. Final chug. That's delicious. That is absolutely delicious, guys. Uh, very nice. And again, it's a 7%. Could be a very easy go-to beer for me. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't want to do, go to it every day, but depending on how often you drink it, it could become a daily drinker if you get into this style. So I can, technically, I could see me having a nice New England style beer and one of these or one of these and a New England style beer or one of these and a, and a heavy beer or a stout or or a barley wine or something so uh, yes uh, it could work it could work so guys this is the single hop saison which is the uh, Emerald Spire they're using the Emerald Spire hops on this exclusively uh, for all the hopping the bittering and flavor and aroma yeah, I didn't say it was dry hop, but uh, single hop, only one hop. So, very well done. I enjoyed this. Uh, again, we're on our own 
not listed on Bear Advocate and only six people and they need I think 10 before either one of those sites will post a grade. Uh, guys, dates on the bottom of this one. Uh, super well made. Got everything that I was looking for in a Saison in this beer, guys. 92 for me. Uh, and if you say it's it's a 100, if you say Saison, guys, get your hands on this or you, and you're a, a typical Saison drinker, let me know what you think. I think it's done very well. So with that being said, if you've had it, let me know what you think. And we've got one more from Cellar West in there. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.